someone down here said his aesthetic is a mix of Shawn Mendes and Harry Styles, and I could definitely see that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I am not a reaction channel, but I am a little bit overly emotionally involved in the love triangle between Joshua Bassett, Olivia Rodrigo, and Sabrina Carpenter. And so therefore, today when Joshua Bassett released a new song titled Lie Lie Lie, I knew I had to come on here and do a reaction video for you guys. So earlier this week, I did a reaction to Olivia Rodrigo's song, Driver's License. So you can feel free to check that out on my channel. I'll go ahead and link it down below. And I said that Joshua Bassett was coming out with a song later in the week. I personally have no idea if this song is about Olivia or if it's in response to Driver's License. Um, I've heard like mixed opinions, so a couple people have told me that it is about that, but a few people have told me that it was written like earlier in time and it's not about that. But either way, I figured I would come on here and react to it for you. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Okay, I'm very much liking these vibes. I really like the shirt that he was wearing in that previous clip. And I also am kind of just liking the like old like film looking kind of vibe. So I'm, I'm liking this so far. The sound of the song is definitely not what I expected. To be perfectly honest, I've never listened to a Joshua Bassett song before. So I don't know if this is his normal vibe or if this is different for him, but let's keep going. So they told me all the things that you said. Okay, so I'm kind of really liking the vibe of the song so far. It makes me want to dance a little bit, and I like his voice. I am enjoying the song overall so far. Now, in regards to whether it's about Olivia or not, I feel like if it is about her, then this is quite an aggressive response, right? He's saying, what was he saying? Let me look up the lyrics really fast. I know what you say about me. I hope it makes you happy. You can't seem to get me off your mind. You're lying through your teeth. You told them lies that you told me. I've had enough this time. So quite aggressive if this is written about Olivia in response to what she said in her driver's license song. Um, but again, I'm not really sure if that's what this is about or not. So let's keep going. Okay, I'm not like really understanding the music video though. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a story that he's telling here. Maybe I'm just not getting it. But um, it's very aesthetic. I really like the shots and whatnot in it. So this shot right here reminds me of the scene in Olivia's video. Uh, right before she goes into the bridge where she kind of like leans back on the back of the car. So I'm getting like very similar vibes to that. Also with the purple lighting and whatnot here. So I think that that's kind of funny. Okay, so that's over. I have kind of a lot of thoughts. So I think, first of all, just in terms of the song, generally speaking, I did, like I mentioned earlier, really enjoy it. It'll definitely be making its way onto my current playlist because I thought it was a vibe. It was fun. Definitely didn't hit me in the same emotional way the driver's license did, but I thought that it was a good song, generally speaking, and the type of music that I generally listen to. So I did enjoy the song overall. I really liked the music video. So for those of you who maybe watch other videos on my channel, channel. Um, I do have some videos about film photography, so that is something that I'm pretty into. And I felt like this whole video gave me very much like film vibes, though I did really enjoy the overall aesthetic of the music video. Now, 
I think in regards to whether or not this is about Olivia, even as I'm like looking at this music video, the first comment is like, only a real fan would know that he released a short clip of this song two years ago. And first, I want to just preface with, I am very intrigued by this love triangle and Olivia Rodrigo's song, but I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm fans of them. Um, I That's pretty much all I know about them. But, so everyone in the comments is just saying that it's not written about her because it was written so long ago. So I'm feeling like it was probably not a response to her song, but I do feel like the timing of the release of it worked out for him maybe in terms of like promotional or um, you know maybe it was just coincidental that it happened to come out right after driver's license because I do feel like the lyrics make it feel like it could be a response to it people are getting like very heated in the comments about whether or not it is or not let me know in the comments down below if you know more about this situation honestly this was the first time I watched this and so I'll probably spend the next hour or so scouring the internet for different opinions on this so I can find out what other people are saying or what real fans think. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every Monday and sometimes on Friday if I feel like it. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Does he give you kind of like Harry Style vibes? Only I feel like it's a little bit of a diss to Harry Style.